Hey guys, this is Robert Getze from the Humminbird Side Imaging Forums at SideImagingSoft.com. I just wanted to do a quick demonstration tonight on how to properly update your Humminbird Side Imaging units um, using an SD card. And uh, of course this is assuming that you've already uh, downloaded the update from Humminbird.com and you've put it on the SD card either by uh, just copying and pasting it on there or from uh, Humminbird PC. So uh, either way you've got your uh, trusty SD card and uh, what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is restore the system defaults or the factory defaults on the system and uh, you do that by hitting the menu button twice and then we're going to use the arrow button over here to go to setup and from setup we're going to go down to restore defaults and once we're at re restore defaults we'll use the right arrow to select it and it's going to confirm yes hit the right arrow again and just that quick it's restored the factory defaults to your Humminbird side imaging unit now what we're going to do do not power off the unit I repeat do not power off the unit go ahead and open up the SD card slot stick in your SD card with the update on it and you can see almost immediately that it reads it recognizes that there's a new update available on it and it asks us do we want to replace software version 4.570 with the new version 4.750 and of course we're going to hit yes and then it asks us do we want to abort no and it's going to go into its uh, little flashing mode do not interrupt this operation do not exit out or anything. If you forgot to do a step, do not power down, let it finish. Here's a little uh, music for your listening enjoyment while we wait. And there we go, software update complete. We've got the green screen, it's now restarting. Uh, we can go ahead and remove the SD card. Uh, we'll wait for it to get up to the boot screen there. Go ahead and take that out. And we can hit exit to leave the demo mode. Now, just as a safety feature, just in case it dropped out any views, um, even though the new updates do say that they are now uh, restoring the defaults before and after, let's go ahead and restore the defaults one more time. Hit menu twice, scroll over to setup, then we're going to go down to restore defaults, select that with the right arrow, confirm yes, and we're done. We've just installed the down imaging update for 2010 on our 997C unit here. Um, if you have any questions, please join us at sideimagingsoft.com.